Hello there, my name is Endemics from Sample Tools by CR2. Thanks very much for purchasing Festival FX. I'm going to be taking you through the video series accompanying this pack and I'm going to show you some of the techniques that we we'll use to create the sounds. First thing we're going to look at is creating a big snare effect. You can use this for impacts and also for those kind of end of the bar uh, special snare effects. The, the most important thing to start with is to get a great snare sound. I've used one of the snares from our drum hits pack. So what I'm looking for is a nice clean transient and also a good frequency response. Um, I was kind of looking for something quite punchy in the low mid frequencies, which we've got, and then we've got a nice clean top end as well. So it's always so essential to start with a great sound in the first place. So what we'll do next is, because we want to make a snare effect, I'm actually going to use the transient master plugin from Native Instruments. You can use any transient designer to boost the sustain, to give the the, the snare more of the um, decay of the sound. Take it off limit there. So you can hear we've got yeah, a bit more of the release and of the sound, a bit more of the tail of the snare. That's what the word I was looking for. So what we'll do next is let's add a compressor on here. And I'm going to use a fairly fast attack and actually give it some level first. <laughs> So what I'm trying to do is, is is slightly squash the attack and allow again the tail to become comparatively louder. I'm doing this because I want that tail to be nice and big and loud so it's going to help extend the snare and help it respond well to the reverb. So what I'll do now is just bounce this down. Add it into the project. Okay, so now I'm working with the audio. So next thing I'm going to do is use the fantastic Valhalla reverb. Let's try a bright hall setting. And give it a nice long reverb time. What I'm going to do actually, I've decided I'm going to put this onto the track itself and use the mix control. Just because in logic it makes it easier for me to bounce it down that way. So what I'll do is control B and then bounce in place. I'm going to include the audio tail in the file. So it includes the reverb in the file. Now from here, what we've got is something we could use for kind of a drop effect even. We just EQ out that 200 hertz area. Let's try layering that with an impact sound. I've got an impact here from the pack, I'm just going to roll off the high frequencies to allow our sound some room to breathe.
So you can see layered together, they make quite a nice kind of beginning uh, sound for a breakdown or something like that. Let's take that away. So that's what the first thing we could use this snare sound for. But we could also use it for, as I said at the beginning, one of those kind of end of the bar effects. Take off the EQ. Now once again, we could try some more processing. Transit Master again, we bring out some more of that sustain. Could maybe try bringing out some more of the high end. What we could also do as well is it's just Bounce this again to a new file. And with this one, I'm going to come into this file menu and just reverse it. And that way we can get a reversed version of the same snare before the main one comes in. I often find it's a good idea to just chop the kind of attack of the snare off because otherwise it can get a little bit extreme at the end. And also we need to make that a bit smoother at the beginning. Get the idea. So just from choosing a really good snare sample in the first place, you can make these two styles of effects, a big impact sound and also a big snare to end the bar with and create really exciting transitions. Hopefully you found that useful. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember at Sample Tools by CR2, we also offer a mixing and mastering service. All you need to do is go to the CR2 Records website, click on the Store tab, then Studio, and all the information is contained there. Thanks a lot.